G'day. My name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. Getting focus. Okay, so listen, in this video, what I'm gonna do, whoops. <laughs> in, <coughs> take two. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this haircut. Um, I absolutely love the way this falls. I think it turned out really well. Unfortunately, the photos at the end don't really give it justice. Uh, I really loved doing this haircut. And what's really cool, um, obviously you're not gonna do this to your clients, but when you turn it upside down after completing the whole thing, you can see exact line that you follow. If this is the first time you've come across my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next. And don't forget to share them with your friends and also leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Everyone has their own take on this haircut and this is basically mine. What I'm going to do is, and what I'm doing here is just trying to find the point where I'm going to start the fringe and typically it's where the head starts to curve right off the top there. So I'm going to take a triangle section right off the front and I'm just going to create a guideline that is going to be my starting point of my face frame. So you can see there I just twist it around just to create a little bit of a fringe to get start the guideline. So now that I've got that starting point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take vertical sections and I'm going to drag everything forward. So this is important. Again, I talk about this in a lot of my haircuts. When I cut hair, I'm actually cutting it when I close the scissor and drag it back. So you can see here, I'm dragging the hair across the face into the middle of the head just to create that nice little fringe area or the face frame. And as I'm working down, you can see a little bit of elevation here, but I'm trying to keep it pretty straightforward for you guys. And this is, again, just my take on the haircut to give a nice short face frame. So as I'm working back, I'm actually connecting each section. So I'm gonna go on, and do the other side, just exactly the same. Pretty straightforward, dragging everything forward into that section. As I move on behind the ear here, you can see I'm still dragging the whole section forward. As I'm working into the back area, again bringing everything forward into that very first guideline. So after going through and connecting everything, look I'm not going to bore you with the blow dryer, just go through and flat iron it all. Um, but basically, after I get done and after I get flat ironed, this is the end result. Now the photo doesn't really give it justice. I really love the way this haircut turned out. And I guarantee you, it's such a great, quick, easy haircut and people are gonna love it. It's a really good way to keep the length in people's hair, but also give them the movement so they feel like they've got some shape to it. But you keep the weight, you keep the length and the weight. I love this. I think it's a great result. I hope you enjoyed it. So just recently I've been uploading not as often as I would like but I've really been enjoying all of it and I enjoy YouTube and I, I love doing these videos. It's just so hard to find the time. Find the time. Oh my hair looks terrible today. Look at that. 